choosing the right artifacts is one of the most important decisions you can make in call of dragons when it comes to building a really powerful army so today we're gonna go over the best artifacts for every single troop type here in call of dragons what's going on guys cheers my name is omni and i'm an official associate here with call of dragons and this video is primarily going to be focused on open field fighting okay so we're not going to be talking about launching a rally we're not going to be talking about defending an alliance tower or fortress or structure and for the purposes of this video we're going to talk about the artifacts that are just in general the best choice that you can pick of course there's always going to be certain unique situations or specific niche examples of when you might want to use one artifact over another and of course there's going to be artifacts like the gold crest which are coming up very soon here in call of dragons that have an additional super powerful effect if they are paired with a specific hero okay we're not going to talk about that in this video because there's a good chance that you might not even have that hero and i want this video to be useful to as many people as possible with that being said the gold crest looks insane bro Six thousand damage factor and a 30 percent march speed enhancement for 10 seconds and then shadow flight snares the target for three seconds bro this is that's op bro that's op now while we're mainly going to be talking about pvp content and open field fighting i will throw in a couple of artifacts that are useful for specific troop types for pve or behemoth scenarios because that is also a big part of the game and those artifacts are also ones that a lot of players are going to have access to and with that being said let's start with marksman because i love my girl kanara and we're actually gonna start with shadow blades and this animation right here looks so cool i love the animation for this artifact too it's so sick uh, this artifact gives you marksman attack and legion attack and also for 1200 rage it deals damage to up to five legions in a designated rectangle so you really have to plan exactly how you want to shoot this but you're going to deal a ton of damage when you do it has 1800 damage factor obviously that bumps up the more that you level this thing up and targets take 15 percent less damage per additional target typically most aoe if not all aoe in the game is going to have this a little bit of a downside but overall massive aoe on this one definitely the first one we want to talk about next we could talk about heart of kamasi this is the one that i actually have my hands on because legendaries are quite hard to get your hands on these days but this one gives you marksman defense and legion defense it also gives your legion and three nearby friendly legions a really powerful 10 second buff you get 15 percent increased attack and 15 percent more normal attack damage okay that's a 1200 rage cost this is a really powerful buff for a pretty substantial duration and for those of you guys who didn't know marksmen do have a really high normal attack damage anyway especially when you look at heroes like kanara and you look at their talent builds and how they're dealing damage it's the white numbers that are going to be dealing a lot of damage here and this basically bumps that up this is more of sort of a supportive artifact rather than like just massive single target or aoe damage but i think that it does buff a really important stat for marksman and the last of the legendary artifacts for marksman is viola's bow this gives you hp for your marksman and legion hp this also is a five enemy aoe 1200 rage cost it's in a rectangle just like shadow blade artifact and this one gives 1600 damage factor okay so it's a little bit less than shadow blades and because it has health over attack it's not going to deal as much damage but it does have an additional effect where damage targets are sealed which means they cannot cast their artifact skills for 10 seconds now the reason that this one i put lower than shadow blades is because a shadow blades deals more damage and b this is while this is nice it's quite hard to time this i would say like you would have to sort of start a battle with this uh because a lot of times artifacts are going to have i mean look this is a minute and a half cooldown right most of the time artifacts are going to be on cooldown so you know timing this 10 second window with that cooldown is like it's a little bit tricky okay but overall still five target massive damage definitely good next we're going to talk about the heart piercer okay this is the first epic artifact that we're talking about in this video unfortunately it only deals single target damage unlike the aoe from all the legendaries but it is a really powerful single target damage i mean 2000 damage factor to a single target okay that is fully upgraded by the way that's the, that's how i have mine and you also have a 65 percent chance to gain defense break physical defense break by 15 percent for three seconds so as you level this up uh you're gonna have basically two-thirds of the time that this hits 
you're going to reduce the enemy's defense by 15 percent that's a really nice debuff i love the fact that you can get a debuff here the legendaries don't have that debuff they're just raw damage which typically is going to be better overall but the heart piercer is way more free to play friendly and one of the most beneficial things that free to play players can do is debuff the enemies because if the enemy is debuffed then that means they're going to be taking more damage from everyone including the whales that are on your team in your alliance okay so really nice as an epic and then the last one that we're going to talk about here in this video is the bomb flinger okay the bomb flinger is more of a peacekeeping it is exclusively a peacekeeping artifact here uh so you're not going to want to bring this into pvp fights this also gives you marksman unit and legion attack and one of the things that i love about the peacekeeping artifacts is there is no rage cost you can literally just start a battle with it if you wanted to essentially this deals damage to the selected legion but it's only for darklings dark creatures and behemoths and that is the key you're definitely going to want to use this one for behemoths because this is just like the heart piercer single target massive nuke okay absolute massive nuke 2400 and there's an 80 percent chance to stun the target for two seconds they can't move they can't do anything for two seconds that is absolutely what you want to do especially in the big behemoth raids so bomb flinger is going to be the way to go next we're going to talk about mages and we got to first talk about the phoenix eye okay unfortunately i have not gotten my hands on this and this is probably the best artifact in the game potentially i mean this is insane okay and it's obvious because the rage cost is so high but the phoenix eye gives you passive magic unit attack and legion attack and it deals damage up to four enemy legions in a designated circle you could bump this up i believe up to five at max damage 2000 this is aoe bro oh my god it's insane and look at that animation bro it's just an absolute nuke that comes out of the sky this is a super powerful artifact and absolutely if you get lucky you want to be using this for pretty much everything okay just use this for everything on your mages it's insane next up is the infernal flame now this is almost as good as the phoenix eye uh, it's not aoe unfortunately but you may have a easier chance at getting this because it does come around for specific events where it has a higher probability of uh, being obtained this also has a 1600 rage cost and it says when cast your legion deals additional damage whenever they launch a normal attack so every single turn effectively you're going to be dealing 1100 damage factor at base right and it's going to go up from there for three seconds so that's at base 3300 just by unlocking this which is insane now it also says your legion gains magic keen when the wielder inflicts scorch on enemies which gives you 15 percent attack for five seconds okay this effect can be triggered once every 10 seconds and the thing about this is that it pairs super well with Lilia okay if you take a look at her skills here she has a chance to scorch it is very good this artifact is basically made for her next up is the magic bomb okay this is the first epic artifact that we're going to be talking about here for mages and this also gives you magic and legion attack it says throws a magic bomb at the selected legion after eight seconds the bomb explodes dealing damage to up to three nearby enemy legions okay now unfortunately mine is so it's so close how is this not maxed out yet it's so close but it does go up to 1800 skill damage factor it is aoe so it's really good for a pretty free to play friendly artifact honestly the only downside is that delay right so if they're paying attention there's a massive clock on the ground right so like if they're paying attention they they should at least try to move but the aoe circle is quite big and if the enemies are in a scenario where they literally cannot move this is going to be amazing and uh overall really good choice for mages now i guess i should at least mention the tier of arbon okay uh this is it's a legendary okay but it does give you magic defense and this is more of a supportive artifact this essentially casts a circle on the ground that heals the legions inside of that circle with a 400 healing factor it goes all the way up to 800 for eight total seconds and it heals every two seconds so it ticks every two seconds so essentially that's four heals times 400 or whatever level yours is at and you can cast it up to four friendly legions in a circle so this one you know I I don't love this one but I have to at least mention it because some people do like it and they do use it um the reason that I don't love this is because for me I feel like mages because they're so far back 
they should be pumping out damage boys they should be pumping out that damage okay now this is obviously more supportive you can heal maybe your frontline infantry or something like that of course I understand there's utility here and that's why we're mentioning it in the video but it's not my favorite and finally we're going to talk about the enteridian of advanced incantations I hope I pronounced that right but I like to call this the epic book okay this is I know there's multiple epic books right uh, but this is the one from ages all right uh this one is exclusively for PVE content you can tell by the peacekeeping here okay if you guys are new that's how you can tell it gives you magic and legion attack and this is single target damage and it's only for darklings dark reaches and behemoths obviously but it's 2800 bro that is an insane amount of single target damage so if you are bringing mages to a raid to a behemoth then this is the one that you probably want to go with okay unless you have like the phoenix eye or something like that but realistically like this is the way to go it's insane single target damage and this is you get this at i think at the very beginning of the game like this is super easy to get very free to play friendly just don't use it for pvp all right let's move on to cavalry and we're gonna start with king slayer okay king is in the name and that's how you know this is easily one of the best artifacts in the game the rage cost 600 that's it bro you gain cavalry and legion attack it says deals damage up to five enemy legions in a designated arc i got mine upgraded a little bit it goes all the way up to 3600 and it says if the target is another lord's legion and has fewer than 10 percent units remaining it is immediately defeated okay you literally slay them this is the king slayer for a reason you literally end their life instantaneously okay uh this is like execute in world of warcraft okay they're low health nope they're dead just kidding not not low health they're just dead okay uh, it also looks really cool it's just this massive blade uh honestly the blade doesn't look the same as it does in the game so i don't i don't know what's going on there right like is that it no that's that doesn't look like it but regardless very powerful skill damage here very very powerful if you're lucky enough to get this definitely use it next we're going to talk about Sorlin's blade uh this one is essentially it's very similar to Kingslayer uh I don't like it as much it only deals damage to two enemy legions in an arc uh, I think the skill shot is probably cooler but it says targets take 25 percent less damage per target whereas this is only 15 and this one also says your legions gain haste which increases your march speed by 20 percent for 10 seconds so very good synergy with cavalry obviously um but it only goes up to 3200 skill damage factor so just in general this is just dealing less damage than kingslayer this is a raw aoe beat stick five targets way more skill damage this one has a little bit of a buff at the end so honestly it's not as good um it does give you some march speed here instead of legion attack so uh, you're gonna be much faster with this one which is what cavalry likes so it's really up to you which which you prefer depending on the scenario i think overall king slayer is better now with that said most free-to-play players aren't gonna have either of them but they will have the centaur bow and this is my number one recommendation for players who don't have the legendaries this is the way to go now you do get cavalry defense and it says deals damage up to three enemy legions in a circle so circular aoe we love to see it this goes all the way up to 1500 skill damage obviously you deal less skill damage per target that you hit and that's it it's just a vanilla circular aoe and to be honest for 600 rage cost it's solid this is just a solid overall epic artifact and you definitely should be using this if you don't have anything else and the final artifact we're going to talk about for cavalry is the blade of reproach now this is the peacekeeping pve exclusive one this has only 45 second cooldown you're going to just be popping this one off uh and that's good because you'll see here that um of course only it only deals damage to darklings and dark creatures it has a 2000 skill damage factor to a single target and grants one buff every time this skill defeats a targeted legion so that's where i said before the 45 second cooldown is nice because you want this to come up as frequently as possible so there's a higher chance that you can actually defeat a specific a uh, a darkling or whatever the case might be uh and every single time that you get a stack here it gives you 20 percent bonus damage okay so this is really great for killing a ton of darklings or dark creatures in a row if you can time this really nice you're gonna stack a ton of bonus damage uh and this is just gonna be just the best for for pve content for cavalry moving on to infantry we have the springs of silence okay this is a nice little aoe for your infantry now typically infantry are more so tanky front lines okay but I actually really like this and I was lucky enough to get this myself this gives you infantry and legion attack it's a very small 400 rage cost and you deal 3200 skill damage to those three targets and 
all the targets are slowed by 20 percent for 10 seconds the crowd control here is really nice okay the slowdown is insane i really really like this artifact uh and also it just looks cool okay just look at that animation it's just the blades in the sky and then brrr, they rain down and it's incredible okay this is incredible i love to see it for infantry now typically infantry uh, are a little bit more tanky so you probably want to use the dragon scale armor instead it gives you that infantry and legion hp which is great for being tanky and it says grants a boon shield to your legion grants keen to up to three friendly legions in a designated circle so this is right perfect for the front line infantry okay 2200 shielding factor that is bananas okay only 400 rage cost and it's for 10 seconds also 10 percent attack for 10 seconds for that aoe circle very very good it says you take also less range damage for five seconds which honestly as an infantry uh, unit it will be taking a lot of range damage okay you are the tank so reducing the damage you're taking is great this is so good for units like madeline and garwood oh my god bro dragon scale armor is probably best in slot here uh to be completely fair with you i just like the aoe on the springs of silence but realistically this is probably the way to go if you have it also we got to talk about Graymar's warhammer because this one is super unique and also really really cool so again only 400 rage cost and it's four target aoe okay 1600 damage that's the base okay remember i don't have this unlocked however damage targets are stunned cannot move or act for two seconds okay that is absolutely insane the fact that you can just smash him and run away literally just like oh i'm out of here now of course infantry are you know they're not as fast as cavalry so they might still get chased down all right but in general uh the crowd control here is really unique i really like it uh it's kind of a little bit of best of both worlds right it's very similar to uh springs of silence where this has a slowdown the other one has a stun 10 seconds slow versus two seconds stun up to you which one you prefer i suspect that the damage scaling is probably similar although i don't know for sure because i don't actually have this uh i don't have the hammer unlocked but yeah very very cool stuff and uh i really like the design too now most of you guys aren't gonna have the legendaries okay uh i don't have a lot of these either and i've spent money in the game so we got to talk about butcher's blade this is the way to go if you don't have the legendaries okay deals damage twice to up to three enemy legions in a forward arc okay you're going to be dealing all the way up to 900 damage factor per hit okay so that's 1800 damage factor to three enemy targets and that's it it's just vanilla aoe damage that is close range uh and you know this is going to be dealing a lot of damage it gives you infantry and legion attack just like a lot of the different artifacts we've talked about here in this video but you're going to be on the front line you're going to be squished together in just a big ball okay uh, and butcher's blade is exactly what you want in those scenarios now uh the thing with infantry is there's a couple of different scenarios where you're going to want pve uh, equipment right the first thing that i want to talk about here is the codex of prophecy i use this one a lot on iliana for um just defeating darklings and dark creatures out in the world okay this one grants you a shield and up to nine nearby friendly legions that's crazy uh it's a 2400 shielding factor with a 15 second duration so this is a massive aoe shield okay nine different armies it's insane okay really really good stuff here um i again like to use this for defeating darklings and dark creatures but providing a massive shield to everyone near you is very very good if you're going to be defeating a lot of darklings and dark creatures i would say send this unit in first initiate the battle to tank the blows activate codex of prophecy and then have all your other legions attack that way your infantry stays healthy stays alive for a long time and your other units can focus on just dps and finally we got to talk about the harlequin mask okay um this is a really interesting artifact in that it is an elite artifact it's the only elite we've talked about in the video but it's got a really unique uh use case here it says forces the selected legion to attack your legion for five seconds again this is only used for darklings dark creatures and behemoths i would love if they implemented this for pvp it would be super annoying but i think it would be really cool this is literally like a taunt in an mmorpg or an action rpg right you taunt and the creatures hit you instead of anyone else this is very good for behemoth raids okay the, you want the behemoths to be hitting the most tanky 
of the players which are going to be infantry and this is your infantry peacekeeping choice now, of course this has a 30 second cooldown it doesn't really provide you with that many stats unfortunately because it is elite but it is infantry defense which makes it a little bit more tanky as well anyway that's going to do it for the list guys hopefully you found this video informative or useful if you did make sure you drop a thumbs up on it it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other call of dragons players might see it while you're down there consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time that i upload a call of dragons video and comment down below your favorite artifacts here in call of dragons which one do you like to use the most is it one of the ones that we mentioned here or is it one that's a little bit more niche maybe you like to go invisible maybe you like to teleport around okay i, I want to hear from you guys in the comment section below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni i will talk to you guys again soon peace